followed by store. Store is another important directory which comes along with the installation. These are the configuration supporting files which needs to be mandatorily present on the data per appliance so that it helps us to do the configuration of the services. Without a store directory, you will not be able to do anything on the appliance. So by default, you need to have the store directory to be available. So if you remember when we created an application domain, I chose default domain, uh, sorry, visible domains to default, correct? So if I don't select visible domains equal to default over there, in my newly created application domain, the store directory will not be available. So probably if you want to test it out, let me show you. So if I go to the default domain where I created this domain, see under this SVR test domain when I created, I have chosen it as visible domains to default. Correct. Let's assume that I'll remove this. Okay. So now what I'll do, I'll come back to my SVR test domain. And I'll go to my file management. Can you see that store directory? No, right? So when you don't have store directory, you will not be able to do any configuration because internally data power needs those files to be present on the domain, then only it can be helpful for us to create all those objects what we need. So when you don't have a store directory, you will not be able to do anything. And hence when we create an application domain, we choose that visible domains to default. Okay. Yes? Clear? Any question? No, it's clear. Okay. So we'll go back to SP test. So that is a store that followed by temporary. Temporary is a directory